Hi and welcome to The Write Channel where we talk all things creative writing. Today I'm going to tell you all about my favourite writing software which is Scrivener and I use Scrivener to plan, write and even publish my novels. Personally I really like Scrivener, I find it really helps me organise my thoughts and plan my book really nicely. I'm going to give you a quick demo of Scrivener in a minute and there's a link for a free trial in the description below if you'd like to try it for yourself. So a quick tour of Scrivener as promised. This is the PC version. There's a version for Mac too and that one's even better. That actually has a few bits of extra functionality. But just to show you what I use, which is the PC version, this is a novella I wrote a while ago and haven't actually published yet, but hopefully sometime soon. Now it's set in Paris, which is why I've used the French numbers for the chapter headers, but you'll see how this works. I find this really helpful. It helps me partly just get over the fear of the blank page because I can always mess around with the index cards if I'm not quite sure what to write. And it also helps me plan everything. And that stuff that I was saying about flow charting, you can do that here as well. So you've got the whole map manuscript there and then you've got the chapters and then in each chapter you have the little scenes each individual scenes for the chapter so I often find I'll write a scene and then I will start to plan the next couple of scenes now each one of these index cards basically maps to a piece of prose and you can label them now some of these labels are pre-configured but you can also map your own similarly a status so for example i tend to mark mine to do or first draft or revised draft or final draft when i'm feeling really confident um, and so on so you can really organize the way that you're working that way you can move scenes wherever you think they should be so you can test out what that looks like and what that feels like when you read it and you can even do the same with chapters move them around and obviously with the numbers headers I would probably change those as well but you can just really easily move things around if you decide things want to be in different places which is really handy there's also a section down here where you can add character profiles and even images to help you picture your characters which is really helpful and here, of course, places so that you can explore your setting with various templates and also put some images in here. There's a little research section where you can keep all of the research you're doing. You can cut and paste things that you've found. You can put links to the Internet. You can make notes here. So that's really useful. And it's really nice to be able to do that in the same document that you're writing in. Ultimately, when you're at the point where you're ready to publish your book, if you want to publish it as an ebook on Amazon, for example, you can actually do all of that from inside Scrivener. So here you can change things to format your manuscript and there are settings as well that help you do that. Here are all the extra things for the paperback novel, so the title page, the copyright, the dedication and so on. And similarly for the ebook, including even your cover. And as you can see, I have actually had a cover commission for this one. It's something that I am considering self-publishing. So there you go. I think that looks pretty cool but you can basically do your ebook from here you can export your formats for your ebooks to publish online from Scrivener itself so it really is quite a cool piece of kit so I recommend Scrivener I just think that it works really nicely and it does all the things I need it to do and it helps me at all stages of the writing process when I'm starting and thinking about my book and just gathering ideas and momentum when I'm planning it especially with the index cards and eventually when I'm writing it, because it can all go in the same place. I can have my research here, my planning, everything in the same one document, which I find really, really helpful. So I do recommend this, but I am also going to do a video soon on how you can do some of the same things or certainly some helpful things in Microsoft Word. So for me, having those different sections and the places that you can put your research and even link to websites and all of that good stuff is really, really helpful. Like I said, there's a link in the description below if you're interested and you can get a free month's trial. I'm also going to put together another video in the next month or so about the levels of organisation that you can put into Microsoft Word. And that can be really, really helpful as well in terms of organising your document and navigating your document. A little bit like Scrivener is actually a little bit of a kind of Scrivener light almost. So if you don't want to spend money at the moment, there is that option. And as I say, I'll do a video about that soon.